environment climate change biodiversity right now are very important for civil exam the reason is civil services preliminary exam and indian forest service preliminary exam both have the same paper question paper for prelims for civil services preliminary exam indian forest service preliminary exam question papers are same so generally they will give questions from environment around 10 to 15 sometimes 20 winning or losing passing or prelims or failing in prelims is seriously decided by the topic called environment in prelims coming to mains you have environmental impact assessment and various environmental issues international environmental conventions they all form part of your main syllabus coming to interview i'll tell two questions which were asked in my interview in 2004 and 2016 one question is where is chernobyl located and why chernobyl is important in interview question where is chernobyl located why chernobyl is important chernobyl is in ukraine earlier it's a part of soviet russia soviet union there was a nuclear disaster in chernobyl and what are the later effects in that chernobyl area even today that area cannot be inhabited by human beings the adverse effects of nuclear disaster still present there this is one thing second thing whenever you get a newspaper article on ozone layer immediately they will ask you what is montreal in the interview and uh, kyoto protocol a regular question in upsc interview and mains and prelims now it's paris climate deal so in prelims perspective mains perspective and interview perspective environment environmental issues are coming in the exam how to study this environment issue there are two ways one is the static part of environment and dynamic part of environment in the static part of environment 9th 10th 11th 12th icsc books are really good 9th 10th 11th 12th icsc books are very important coming to dynamic part is a real challenge various conventions various protocols iucn red data book red data list international union for conservation of nature and natural resources red data list and any international efforts to protect the environment if india signs any convention on environment that convention and if any species is in news if any species is in news the features of that species all these things are very important for example they might give a question on gibbons gibbons are monkey they may give a question on gibbons or gangetic river dolphin from last 6 months there is a news that river dolphins are dying in india it is our national aquatic animal gangetic river dolphin so you may get a question gangetic river dolphin cannot see is a blind dolphin yes there might there might be a chance of giving a b c d gangetic river dolphin is india's national aquatic animal it is completely blind it will understand the things only through echoes echoes yes right right okay and gangetic river dolphins females are larger than males this is also right this is also correct statement so like that a b c d initially they may give some other uh, see they may say males are larger than females incorrect males are larger than females is incorrect answer so this is one thing or they can give 
uh, one more style a uh, question for example say uh, which species is declared as vermin v e r m i n which particular species is declared as vermin v e r m i n vermin means vermin means in wildlife protection act we have schedule there is schedule 5 in wildlife protection act there are schedules in that there is schedule 5 according to this schedule you can classify any animal or bird as vermin vermin means if it has a propensity to attack humans or if it causes damage to the other fauna other animals or fields or agriculture fields trees plants then the state government may sign the request to environmental ministry then the state government might send the request to environmental ministry and the ministry can give permission to kill the particular animal so this is called vermin v e r m i n some states ask like peacocks some states ask some nilgiri tahir some sorts of uh, nilgiri tahirs so like that every state can ask some some ask even monkeys to declare as vermins so they can ask to declare something as vermins all the time so this happens sometimes it attacks the flora and fauna it attacks the human beings attacks the property then you might be listening in the villages in the, so there was some animals have come and they have damaged the crop all these things so when they feel when it becomes a regular phenomena when the state government feels that it is dangerous to human beings or crops then it can be declared as vermin by taking permission from moefcc what is moefcc ministry of environment forest and climate change so in such cases also you can get a question in such cases also you can get a question this is one issue and second thing there are few international environmental ngos international environmental ngos like greenpeace international environmental ngos like greenpeace or indian environmental societies two times a question was asked in upsc about bombay natural history society two times a question was asked regarding bombay natural history society so any organization working for environment or any international organization working for environment which is really important you may get a question there are not more than 10 10 15 organizations 10 or 15 organization nationally and internationally or you can read 10 10 organizations that's it at least one question is guaranteed okay if you clear up national inter- international environmental organizations and societies that's one way of preparing the next way of preparing is say some important institutions for environmental protection and important acts in india wise if you see india it is biodiversity act very important for exam biodiversity act 2000 internationally if you see there are many conventions etc so now i will give you a model how to study indian institutions and international conventions so today's class is i will give you for example in india if you are studying about institution how to study and international how to study how you have to predict the questions